Hey, what's up? This is Ashray from Immersive Insiders. And in my previous video, I showed you how you can integrate OpenAI and Unity to create an Android application like ChatGPT. If you haven't watched that video already, then you should definitely watch that first over here and then get back to this video. In this video, we are going to take the project a step further by adding speech recognition and text to speech. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is to download this repository that was created by Jimmy29. Now this repository has the speech and text unity plugin that we require. So click on code and download the zip file. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract it. Then open up the main folder unity project asset. In here you'll find plugins and speech and text. So these are the two folders that we require. So open up your Unity project, select these two folders and drag and drop them inside the project window and wait for Unity to recompile. Once that's done, Unity is going to show you some errors and that's basically because one of the script is trying to reference the iOS and the Xcode. Now since we are working on Windows platform and targeting Android, we do not need that script. So go inside speech and text editor, select build post processor and delete it. With that, we have installed the plugins. Now it's time for some coding. All right, so here we are in Visual Studio. Let's get rid of the code over here. And the first thing that we want to do is to create a function that can start the voice recognition or speech recognition. So for that, we will have it as public void start speech recognition. And in here, we want to make use of the speech to text class. Now before that, we need to import the uh, text speech library so you can say using text speech and now inside this function we can call the speech to text dot instance dot start recording so when you call this function it's going to start recording and then you can talk uh, and once you finish talking it automatically detects that you have finished talking and then it generates a callback so in the start method we will register this callback so create a start method and in here we will have the speech to text dot instance dot on result callback and assign it to some other function like on speech result so let's generate a method for this so you can right click on it and generate a method so here we go instead of having it as string obj we'll rename it as result and what do we want to do with its result the text result that we get we want to input it into the input text field that's there so for that we need to import the library text mesh pro and let's create a serialized field private text mesh pro input field and we'll name the variable as input field so once we get the result we want to add that result in, into the text field of the input field so input field dot text is going to be equal to the result okay so now let's write the code for text to speech so for that we need a function which is again going to be public void we'll call it as start text recognition and in here we need to pass in the string message or string text whatever it's going to be so string text and we can call the text to speech dot instance dot start speak and pass in the text okay so that's about it now the start speech recognition will be called by a button from the unity editor whereas start text recognition is something that has to be called from chat gpt and that's because once you record and send it once we get the result that result has to be converted into speech right so once we have the result here we want to convert this into speech so for that we will create another serialized field private and it's going to be speech controller we'll name the variable as speech controller then once we get the result we can call the speech controller dot start text recognition and pass the result that we get now you can save this save the speech controller script as well and let's go back into unity all right, so here we want to create three new game objects. The first one is going to be called as speech to text. Now make sure that the way you write it is the exact same way that it's written here, speech to text with S, T and T in capitals. Next, we'll create another game object, which is going to be text to speech. And here again, this has to be in exact same way. Select speech to text, add the component speech to text, select text to speech, and add the component text to speech. Now I'm gonna repeat this once again, make sure that these two components are on two different game object with the exact same name. And then we'll create another game object. We'll call it as speech controller and add the speech controller component to this. All right, so it needs an input field. So let's go ahead and add the input field. And now if we check at AI, our chat GPT needs a speech controller as well. So let's drag and drop that here. Now we need to create another button which will call the start speech recognition function. 
so for that we'll select this button we'll duplicate it and bring it slightly above we'll take this below here we'll move these to up as well all right so now select the second button that you duplicated and we'll change the text from send to record and when this button is clicked we want to take the speech controller and we want to call the start speech recognition function now there's one last thing that we need to do and that is to go inside plugin android and open the android manifest here you need to paste these lines of code that you can find in the description then save it and go back to unity all right so now let's save the scene and let's build it and test it out so the app has been successfully built let's test it out i'm clicking on the record button who are you send i am an artificial intelligence designed to respond to questions this is super cool and just like that we have converted a normal chatbot into a virtual assistant now where can you use this or where can you make use of this concept well if you're making a game where npcs are intractable or if you have a educational app or something like that you can definitely make use of these concepts also you can find the source code unity projects and other exclusive content like sending the speech results directly to open ai or changing the language of interaction on our patreon so do check it out and if you like this video or if you found it helpful, then I'd highly appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe. It will help us to make more videos just for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one.